too much. All right. All right. Continuing on. Is that yep? Is that is that him? Yeah, it's, it's got to be. Okay. Sorry to be now this is Watchley. Go ahead, Watchley. It's plus eighteen to be gained. Uh, camera. Okay. Yes, up. yes, it matches up and pretty closely with the uh, tether. I see the tether. With the previous waypoints. So, um, just line. so you guys are aware that uh, sort of the bottom that we just covered, or we are in the process of going over now, was the Do sulfur the pond. Why does that? So, uh, uh, just um, for at the end environmental of my tether, awareness. I'm spinning Dawn, so that's the end of that transect. Oh. Is that why everything is so stable? <laughs> end of that transect. Okay, backing up. Lower left, there's the tether. Bubbles on the left. What's my uh, target altitude now? 10? Next, it will be 10 meters. 10 meters, okay. Copy that. Try. Yep, so we are finishing up this line. Oh, that's And bright. our next one Sorry, uh, really will be 10 meters you. above the seafloor. So yeah, that will be that silver at pond now. Yep. Three eight. Uh, no, three not, eight eight. Not yet. I think. Or three nine one. Not yet, Casey. And we will hold on one second. We'll get the actual depth from our pilots. Okay, so 10 meters at this end. So I've been maintaining altitude, not depth. So 10 meters at this end is 398. 398? 398. All right. So we are going to be at 398. Wait. But that's going to be 10 that's meters over the bottom, depending on how the bottom changes. Exactly. That's what I'm So if so you'd rather, we can... We should maintain a constant depth. We can for, do that now. Yes. Please maintain a constant depth. Uh, let, me, let me actually talk to you guys. Sorry, I okay. was not talking to you. Okay. Okay. Of, uh, okay. This is exactly 10 meters above that one, so okay. we can just stay at depth of 398 now that we're not going to. Yep. Okay. Just because the last one that we started at was at 396. So. Yeah, and then I came down maintaining 5 meters altitude. Right. All right. So do okay. start at 398, and from now on we'll come up 10 meters from 398. Understood. Copy that. Now All I right. got it. We can do that. Would that make it easier for you, Nav? Uh, do what? Oh, sorry. Did you did you I, not hear video? No, I no, recommended no, no, no. that we at this ahead. point on, round. I, reco I made the recommendation at this point we round to the nearest and start going in equal in increments rather. Than I, it's not going to make any difference. I mean, three, okay. three, four hundred okay. versus three nine eight. Right. So we should might as well do the four hundred. It's, it's not going to make any difference because this I mean, doesn't look good at all. Hang on. I, yeah, I mean, we're going to put in depth lock. Anyway, yeah, I know it doesn't make for you guys, but for all the data that's collected, we're going to have equal oh, digits okay. of uh, uh, tens. The next one you want to go up to four or five. Yes, you got them. Yeah. All right, I'm sorry. Uh, three, okay, three, three, nine, zero, three, nine, five. You just want to go by fives and tens, yes? Yes. yes. Okay. So do you want to do 400 then? And uh, we'll start there. If that, if that is what you guys want to do, we can do that. Yes, let's do 400. We'll do 400 east to west for this one. Okay. And then our next one will be at 395 east or west to east. Yes. Um, okay. Casey. Yes. Casey. I am at the west end, so I am okay. going east on this run. Okay, so this one is east to west, or west to east. Correct, west to east. West to east. Uh, so I guess Apologies I'm jerking for the you around. Confusion. What's happening? All right. All right, We've so the yes, we are done with that first one. We are resetting up for the next one. Um, this one will be 400 meters west to east as they spin, and they'll let us know when they're ready. This is the first time that we are uh, 
bad thing as protocol, um, the Okiana, so we knew there were going to be some adjustments as we okay, actually Don, it out. I'm going to just push ahead, <laughs> and yeah. uh, hopefully you'll come back into... Uh, uh, Annie, are you ready? We got you, view. Okay, let's start there it. There he is. All right, we are starting transect 400 west to east line. Here, okay. Pushing towards you, Don. What's next? Now, next. Going off bottom right. All right, so guys, we are still seeing quite a bit of smoke uh, in the in water the top column. Center, left edge, it's gone. And uh, we can still see a little bit of the bottom below us, seeing that we are definitely still above those hydrothermal vents. So, your swing arms are out right now, upper ones. No, they're good. Oh, they're do you think scared. it'd be any easier as far as? Acting as a fog light? Uh, I don't think we want to have them out okay. while we're doing this. Okay. Let's get the white object top left. White object top left. Now center screen. Oh. Off bottom. Oh. So what is our speed forward through the water? Uh, is the object coming just slightly up from right? I have no idea what our speed is through the water, but over the bottom it's about 0.1 on average. I, I'm seeing 0.1 on the uh, USBL here. Okay. So coming center screen, there's a line. It's uh, dis dispersed. Because, uh, so, um, Liz, I think right. that that abiotic one, uh, segment that we saw before it's may have actually diffused. been a little piece of bacterial yeah. mat. Pulling wide, it's on your left. Because there's a bunch of them oh. down below us. So I wonder if that's what that was. Mm -hmm. If it had just kind of kicked off of Fused us. That would have wouldn't it? Can yeah, it would look kind of weird. If just, we had quite a bit that was funny shaped down at the bottom earlier. And... I don't mm -hmm. think there's a midwater animal that would look like that. No. No. It had to be a, a piece of something. Pushing ahead. Broken away. See the surface on the bottom right and bubbles coming from the right and center. Yep, we're going to go right over them again. There's just so much <laughs> to see here. That, I mean, you can't distinguish one thing from the next. Yeah, it's... It's quite a bit of particulates. The white particulates that are in the water column. Uh -huh. Did I hear earlier in the cruise that those were bits of sulfur? White object, bottom so left. So those are bits of what? This is something real. Of sulfur? Go back up. Ah, uh, I'm not sure. Oh, what's that? Oh, they're Tilt. trying to zoom on it now. Hold on. Uh, it looks like potential like mucus. Looks like more mucus. Oh, uh, it's sort of it's scary. Got some Got something trapped in it. Could be like so, what causes of, uh, mucus in the water column? There you go, Rolly. Maybe it's a hairy something or another. So, um, there can be a lot of different things. Um, you can probably see some of the marine snow raining down from above, or at least could. When you're Let's go to the round water. object on the right. Um, that's kind of bits of dead organisms. Um, you as see well it as, on um, the right edge, you know, pulling out of animals uh, from out center and shooting out to the mucus that we see is um, and larvae and shooting out to the right. So, larvations are uh, eating animals. They look like small tadpoles or tunicate, and they create this big web around them that um, they use to filter the water and feed. And when those get clogged, they um, leave their mucus house and rebuild a new one, and that kind of drops down, and it often kind of has this teardrop shape as it moves down in the water column and turns mucusy. But other particles can start aggregating and turn into a mucus. And the other thing that can look like a little blob of mucus, or is a blob of mucus, is squidding. Oh, okay. 
So that's my personal favorite mucus. <laughs> that's right, Liz. You are a uh, cephalopod person, aren't you? That's right. <laughs> Well, you'll have to take. And sometimes the um, they glass in the water. <laughs> so well, they come I think it can last screen, a long time, line, and uh, and it can also um, it can, it's to the right called corner. a pseudomorph on occasion, and and I'm that sorry, means that it, it is made this to look like another us, animal, fish, or and the as the pool. squid is uh, escaping away, so to then the uh, maybe the, uh, yeah. the predator would be distracted by the the shape of the mucus and and attack the mucus instead of chasing after the squid. So. So they can put them going into the current or away from the current. Um, but then they, you know, they're, they ultimately kind of diffuse away. Okay. But they do have a color to them. Pink I mean, you can definitely top. see uh, um, that it was uh, an inky That's color good. or a chocolate brown color associated with those. Some type of flock material. Is there any of the mucus that we've seen so far have no. our coloring? No, the ones that I've, when I, <laughs> as I'm paying attention to these little blobs of mucus, I, they don't look pretty <laughs> dinky, you know, um, they, right. but they have like little particulates within them. So it doesn't look not dinky. working well, in my opinion. You know, tilt straight ahead, please. So, uh... Liz, you'll have to check out. We had um, quite a few. We've had quite a few octopuses so far this Something cruise pink uh, during top. Benthic transects, but uh, the time we've gotten some great imagery of them. I saw the most adorable little juvenile. <laughs> Sorry, I, I must have cut you off. Can you tell if I'm getting stretched out, Tom? Not yet. Okay. I think you got some more to go. Okay. So part of the just looking at you about 45 degrees now. So part of the reason that we are doing this work is that the midwater and sort of the, the water column and life in the water column is one of the most unexplored parts of our ocean. So we often say that uh, our ocean is 95% unexplored, but I think it would be fair to say that it, of the water column or of our oceans, the water column is one of the least explored biomes. So it's really important to spend time uh, during exploration expeditions like this to really take some time and spend it in the water column to make sure that we are getting a full understanding of what the life at a given area is and not just looking at one portion of the ocean. Uh, so the sometimes before. people only That's focus good. on the benthos, but there is but definitely an interaction between the life in the pelagic okay, zone and life on the seafloor. So it's really important to establish yeah, a baseline uh, characterization to make sure that you understand both Clipper, and whatever the coupling this, there is uh, between those two areas. Is that Annie back there? It is. Annie, that's the end of this transaction. Okay, Casey. <laughs> All right, so that was the end of our fourth or third transect. We are going to, our next one will be 395 east to west. Nav and pilot, is that correct? It'll be 395 east to west? Absolutely, Casey. Thank you very much. Coming up on the winch. You're coming up to what, 395? Yeah, I'm already there. Okay, there you are. Yeah, yeah. I'm already there. Annie, are you ready? She's nodding her head. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All righty, here we go. This is the beginning of 395. 
All right, beginning transect 395 west to east. Okay. White object coming center screen. Does the uh, visibility to look about the same? There you go. Yeah, we, I think we're just now getting really in a pattern. Oh, there's something. Let's go to a the couple top. somethings. Go. It's inside your lens. Okay. Sort of small, clear <laughs> organisms. The white object maybe on the a couple upper centimeters right. long. Oh, upper right. Too quick. Yeah. Right line. You can see your umbilical up there also. There's a series up there. So we have a comment from Scott France in the event log that says there's an interesting contrast okay. to be made here between the amount of particulates in the water and the lack of organisms filtering slash eating it. What's that? Um, can we assume that most of these particulates are rising from the vents and thus not tasty organics? Down out of the or lights? that this water is toxic, uh, similar what we were talking about before during the benthic portion right of the dive, the right, um, that there's a lot of sulfur here right. um, and other potential chemicals that would not necessarily be the best things for filter eaters to eat. Uh, so, so potentially we could have a little bit of a change as we go up through the water column. Inside your lights. Yeah, and that's a great question. I think um, the fact that we see so much more particulate right around the vents and we're seeing just kind of in the background coming down in the marine snow means that most of that particulate matter must be vent derived and um, yeah, clearly has a very different composition than what would be in the background. Slightly up and left and from point. center. Oh, is that it down bottom right? Yeah, it went off. I'm having a hard time seeing what you're seeing, really, so yeah. I'm, I'm not aiming for things. So during no, our descent, use, we did clearly the, see uh, a uh, uh, no. bit pattern. No. We did okay. quite, see quite a bit of a, center um, screen. Pink, it's a delineation between like the surface waters where like there was the some particulate, color, but not like a lot to, yeah. as we got closer and closer At to the, the vents, yeah, there was a lot. So much, uh, there were a lot of shrimps and maybe amphipods or copepods, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, just um, upper left of center, you found, it's just sort curve, of going crazy around the vehicle down, during our descent. Centered, and then we started seeing the right. smoke and more particulates with not much life uh, earlier today. Oh, what is that? That's back from the zoo. It's a piece of a spring. <laughs> I know what that's doing here. Oh, my. Any ideas on what that is? I it's all the way inside the lens. I do not okay. have an idea of what that is. So it's long and thin and twisted, uh, yeah. Amanda. And... I don't know. It doesn't look like it's uh, right hand side like of dot. What direction was I going? It didn't look like it had any yeah, differentiated right. parts. West. Thanks. No. Um, the only thing I can think of that sounds like that okay, is um, you know, fishing line. Yeah. Uh, it was fairly thick for fishing line. No, it, it wasn't. Yeah, it wasn't fishing line. Yeah, um, it, it again. Yeah, it looked like it, it might be part of the bacterial mat. Well, that's. I think that's the only reasonable. Upper right. Actually. I'm sorry. Upper yeah. center white dot. Mm -hmm. so Scott's suggesting that it right. may have been a cut off piece Maybe or something. Let's go with the thing that's coming into the frame. Sorry, the white dot turned out to be nothing but a white blob. I think it was a piece of pumice. Uh, I'm going to go with uh, something. White object top center.
That one looks like something. Drifting away. All right, oh, so we have away. seen oh, quite good. a few of that's these sort of bright going. white targets. Little white, little white blob, yeah. Max is in. And they've been pulling out. out. Yikes. I don't even know which way I'm <laughs> if I had to guess, maybe it's two Pulling two. out. South of some sort? It's gone away. Yeah, Potentially. It's white object on the left. I don't know, that's Stringer. reaching. Yeah. We, so we've seen quite a few. They look sort of semi-solid white corner. targets that I, again, I'm wondering if they're pieces of the bacterial mat coming up. Um, down below, we, there was quite a bit of white bacterial mat and quite a Sorry, bit man, of action bringing it up into the water column. So, I mean, we're only 15 meters off right now. Just and for anything that's not a dot. with that much <laughs> bubble activity and the smoke activity that we were seeing before, it, I think it's maybe entirely possible that that's Matt coming up. Maybe we'll see something fish size. Looks like you're almost they're, at the They're end. quite okay. okay. Copy that. Uh, they, they honestly look like kind of like a cotton ball. <laughs> Very small yeah. cotton balls. Uh, yeah, yeah I, don't, I don't think that would be felt. Um, Can you tell where I am, Don, or no? Looks like uh, Scott. Very center. Center. Yeah, I got center. Uh, out here Scott's pointing out that some of the filamentous there. bobs that or bobs so that we saw earlier looked a little edge. fibrous, One so perhaps these could the be the bacterial mount we were seeing yeah, below. That's you. you can see the tether, though, now. Yep. Great. Okay. Lower, lower left. Well, I have to I say, I'm kind of surprised the that, uh, at the lack of the the organisms so far. Uh, let's look at that thing that's there. All right, yeah, this one is 390. Um, moving around out there, you think oh, that would be so much of those bacterial <laughs> Yeah. So oh, there's a little something. Kind of begs place. the question of where are those going? Are they just circulating back to the yeah, seafloor? Or does that actually create you know, a food source for some of the pelagic animals? I don't know. I, I do wonder about the desire of some of the normal midwater animals to eat this type of food if that makes sense yeah if it's very high in sulfur and other yeah, things that are no. coming from the volcano tino four center oh yeah I'm going to the yeah, top there's something yeah but we're not on a transfer there's something no there. <laughs> <laughs> don't wait come back <laughs> Am I full wide rolling? So, you Amanda, are. for things like that, um, the pilot should not go after it because it was it would have caused us to increase our depth range. Lens. Do you want us to dart up after things and down after things or maintain a constant depth? Okay. Will we Three be able to zero. get back to the depth of the yes. transact? Well, it'd be yeah, more like a, oh. it'd be more like a zigzag or a sawtooth. It would be pretty fast. Be more like a yeah. toyo than a Transects. So it would. Can, uh, so I mean, some good imagery of these animals. I mean, this is the first time anyone yeah, yeah, really, really looked at the water column with an ROV like this. But it would be great to um, try and get some actual IDs on some of these animals. Okay, so Amanda, the what that will mean is that our instead of having a straight line across the water column, what we'll end up doing is looking more at like a toyo kind of thing or a bounce or a zigzag and it may not be consistent across depth levels. Is that okay? What I would recommend is that we stay straight yeah. and tilt uh, only. Okay. Annie, are you uh, it's uh, okay ready by for me, the yeah. next? Yeah, okay. yeah. Adjusting, I think, I think adjusting I think height is going to be um, pretty time to consuming really if you're running. Okay, okay. Annie, I didn't hear your response, oh. sorry. Oh. That sounds good to me, Casey. Okay. Thanks. All right, hold on one second, guys. They're debating whether to go up and down. Oh, I see, okay. I'd recommend that we stay straight and just it do sounds the like tilt. They're giving you if permission to dart up and down if you want it. And we see it enough I times. Can't, I can't get rid if of we see roll. it where we can image it well, vertical then transects. We can zoom uh, yeah, they say they want the animals that you can dart. Just take detection yeah. of okay, we saw these at this you. level, this level, this level. But if we zigzag up and down, uh, you're going to have a very skewed, and I don't think we're going to really get any. Mm -hmm. Any additional better that focus on it? 
it was my recommendation that we stay on the straight uh, uh, depth and just tilt the camera up and down rather than move the vehicle up and down. Uh, and if we see something, do our best ability to focus and zoom on it. And then when we get to the end of the transect, if we happen to see that creature, take a quality zoom and focus there and then reset up on the line, but pretty much keep our depths the same on each transect. Otherwise, you're going to be very skewed with your data. Right. So Science on Shore has asked that we try and it is higher priority to get identifications and be able to see the animals. And we've now seen a couple tumble off screen because we're maintaining depth. So if it's a slight depth or altitude adjustment, that's okay. But the, it's more important to be able to actually see these animals. Um, and maybe that means we need to slow down if we can go much slower. And that's probably a pilot's question. But um, it, we, they want to be able to see the organisms. Um, and we can't so far... We haven't been able to get an idea on anything that we've seen. Right. Um, well, it can definitely go slower. Um, we can even do a you know start, stop, start, stop. Just go from object to object. We can definitely rotate the camera and zoom much faster than we can move the vehicle up and down the water column. Moving the vehicle up and down the water column is a difficult way to um, chase. But yeah, it may just disturb the animals too that way. Oh, yeah. Big swirls coming off the vehicle. Shoreside, are you able to hear the discussion that the pilots are having that's being brought up right now? So it sounds like our best yeah. bet is to actually okay. slow so, um, the transect. Slow the transect down. Yeah, let's, let's, are we... Let's go with that, Casey. Why don't we try a slow one? Okay. So we're going to try... So is it is it possible to slow down a bit? Yes, that's what we're going to try. Nice. Um, we're going to try and slow down the transects and see how that works. Um, maybe we won't have anything tumble off screen as quickly. Such as that object to the right. Okay, without ready to without start you? Without all transects. transects. All right, so we are prepared to start transect 390. Go, Rolly. East to west. Sorry, west to east. Is it running away from me or what? It's, uh, it's flopping all around. I'm like, that's full wide now. Okay. Wow. Well, I'm not even moving. <laughs> I, I don't think that was alive. So that's what the water column There's is something doing. Which, uh, left. Nope. Off to the left hand side. Oh, is it off screen? No, it's uh, on the right hand side. Yep. Coming back for it. Actually, I'll wait until you can get it centered, then I'll zoom. Okay. Let's try that. There it is. Okay, is it going to stay stable? Pushing in slow. It's going up. Mm -hmm. Well, now that looks like it might be something. Looks like it may Zooming have. In. So I know oh, I here we go. Maybe? That is unusual. Uh oh. So whatever Pushing this out. is, I bet you that little long skinny thing Pushing that we saw focus. before, I bet you that's Sending a part out. of, it was one of the, whatever those arms are. Part of one yeah. of them? Yeah, I bet Scott was right, Still that it was broken off. You. Yeah, I'm not even moving yet. I haven't even started. Anything, but what is this? <sighs> that's just the water moving around me. Okay, <clears throat> can you the move lightness. the water to keep it centered? <laughs> it looks very odd. <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> I can't believe I can't see it. Yeah. Even it Scott says. Multiple, I mean, it looks, it has the different. same kind of gestalt as like a pycnogonid. Yeah. Uh, so there are a bunch of legs attached to a small central point, um, but it's it's not a pycnogonid. The way it was swimming, it, it almost it, looked it like. What are those white things? Yeah. I'm trying to get you one. The swimming pattern kind of looked like a um, the way a, a crinoid moves, where it moves all of its okay, arms in an odd, like, jiggling motion. Yeah. Scott says it might have been a large benthic uh -huh. hydroid that's there been deplaced into the water column. Uh -huh. hmm. Oh, or Scott says what I'm describing sounds like a pelagic isopod. Pelagic isopod. That, may be, yeah. that may be a better guess than anything I mentioned. Ah, that'd be interesting. Nope, full wide. 
That's for what? So you can see we're not looking at things in our in our depth here. We're looking other places. Okay, here we are at our depth again. Okay, I'm actually going to start moving now. Pink thing left. Pink thing left. Bottom coming center. Stopping. Rotating. It's in your lens. Go for it. It's going off to the left. Out of the top. Centered. Going to the right. Up. Is that all the zoom you got? No, it's full wide because it was flopping around. It's inside your lens. I, that's my near field focus. Okay. So Scott uh, recommends that this might be How about that right there? Right? Uh, Go. A municipode. Pode. There you go. <laughs> nice. Say it again. <laughs> Munodopside? Munopside. Munopside. Please forgive my terrible pronunciation. Munopside. Um, and that does <laughs> look similar to what we Direction were just seeing. Maybe a few more arms, but. Anybody know what direction I think that's a going? closer guess than what we had before. Me too. We're going uh, west to east, I believe, this <laughs> run, huh? Okay. Mm. I think that looks like it, yeah. I just clicked on the link that uh, that Scott shared, and that looks pretty good. Yeah, I'd, I'd say that. Pilot, were you that's asking which good. way the Why next is going? Like was that? It? Oh, we're going to be going west to east. And I didn't hear your question. Other guys have done? <laughs> uh, me personally? No, yeah, I have anyone online. Yeah. Uh, Pushing in. Yeah. Yeah. Pulling out. Pushing focus. Okay. Drifted Full away. wide. So, um, watch lead. Go ahead, pilot. We're going to do this transect over because I apparently got blown totally to the south. I'm nowhere near where I'm supposed to be. So I went off chasing things and uh, did not do a transect. So we're going to do this one over. So, um, Okay, well, all right, I'm going to get back in position, but I won't start the next one. All right, thank you. So, shore side, um, Riley, you're still we over have about you it's just 30 jumping. to 40 minutes left of the dive. Um, and with that in mind, uh, we the pilot says that he got blown off, and we're about to have a bit of a shift change in a second, but he got blown off during the last transect when we were chasing the things. So he's curious to know if you want us to repeat that transect or continue up into the water column. Um, I would say continue on. on. Yeah, yeah. I, I agree. Happens. Pilot, this Just is watching. Because we are running rapidly out of time, it would be nice to see a transition maybe out of all this particulate matter. Agreed. Yeah, I think that's a great point, Liz. Uh, 
moved down. Yeah, coming around. Go ahead, watch it. All right. Um, do you want to go up five meters at a time, or do you want to go up a lot? What would you like to do? Wait. wait. Okay. So I'll. So I should do 390 again, or not bother with 390 again. 385i. Pulling up to 385. Go ahead. We're going to be going from west to east. Okay. And and, uh, we actually had down here okay. 360. So have we completed the, the transect one, then? Okay. We have completed the transect, yes. They're turning around. And this is probably a good time to be changing watches while we're doing a vertical transition. And hopefully explaining as much as possible to your relief. So hold on, on shore, folks. Um, the pilots are doing a pilot transition. Okay. So um, I'm sorry, Liz. Can you? Did you ask a question while we were doing this? Oh, I was just uh, wanted to make a note in the the log that we had finished the transect. Right. So uh, so far, this has been a little confusing of a method. Uh, I think I that would, I would agree with that. <laughs> yeah. I think that we may have more success with the longer transects, but we'll keep trying and see what we can we can get. But uh, this, my guess is that this will end up being a very useful test of maybe not the best protocol. But yeah. you never know until yeah, you try. I, I agree too. Um, um, I have I have been, uh, I've been doing some midwater work um, out here on the Nautilus too, so I think. Um, can you come up a little down? Yep. So, so if you want, we can adjust what we are doing and continue in our normal midwater longer transects and try and make use better use of the next uh, 30 to 40 minutes that we have. Or we can continue with this ladder. Um, if, I, if I can't really see it, I'm going to defer to Liz um, <laughs> if you have an opinion. Right. I'm happy to do that. I think um, I, I don't have a great sense of how big that plume is. If we can kind of keep transiting somewhat through it while doing that transact. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I think that what we're seeing right now is not terribly instructive because there's yeah. um, there's so much turbulence in the water and, you know, things are coming and zipping past quickly and they're all, you know, nothing looks like it's really biological here. Uh -huh. Um, so whether we get out of it by moving vertically or horizontally, I don't, it doesn't matter to me, but I think it right. would be useful to get out of where we are. That's right. It was right. all taped well, up. Should too. we try um, something um, like 20 meters for an next increment? See where that puts us? Is that any better, Roland? Yeah, so maybe if we move up to 350 um, now. Yeah. Uh, in the vertical direction? Yeah. The vertical I could direction. tell you. Yeah. It's, so uh, I like the, the objects just of, come at us so quick. Even though this is not um, really showing us a lot, but to do to finish off with the same protocol all the way up, I think, is we're, we're this far along into it. By the time okay. we identify anything, it's right, like right on us. Yeah. Yeah. But, but, but bigger, like bigger, bigger vertical bigger jumps. Jump. Maybe yeah, to get us uh, yeah. into pressure water here. All right. Yeah. I'll relay that to the pilots. Does the 20 sound like a reasonable? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Okay. Let's try that then. And if we yeah, can do, ahead. you know, a couple more at 20 meter increments, right. then <laughs> we should be, I think, in better shape by the time we finish up. Go ahead, Yeah. Because right now there's, I'm afraid, a whole lot of nothing. Mm-hmm. alternative exploration. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you're going to see it until you get there. <laughs> well, but, and if you're doing, you know, a different protocol on the Nautilus, you've got okay. this one to compare it to, 
you uh, describe uh, uh, if it's center or, or up or down. Nice right yeah, I see it now. But saying in general, if you tell me, then I'll keep it in the view. Pilots, as soon as you get settled in here, um, oh. they, they'd like to just move up to 350. Right. Yeah, copy. All right, so we'll get an image of this, and then we will move. That looks like a bunch of those those uh, pelagic isopods. Munopsids. All kind of connected together <laughs> like a, a barrel of monkeys. That's odd. <laughs> Co-pilot, when you get uh, settled in, can so I maybe make a suggestion? So, Scott, I know morning. you may not be on the phone, but sure. have you ever seen those them uh, kind of congregate like that? That was a little odd. The, whatever you call it. One of the the fish, fish eye. Right? Fish yep. eye. The Munopsidae. All right, so are we coming up? Is that the plan? Uh, yep, 350. 350. You ready, Dan? We can come around to 350, yep. Yeah. Coming up to 350. Yep. And pilots, prior to actually initiating up. transit, uh, just got to get confirmation that the clipper are, is ready to mark. So Scott Kay. also says that he has not seen them... Uh, the ch a chain of Munopsidae My, like that uh, before. So that's seems to be fairly interesting useless. to see them like that. Jumping all over. Uh, yeah, it's, how you got to take the average of, order of magnitude. what you see. <laughs> oh, I well, don't know, five or seven maybe? Sure, uh -huh. I can deal with noise, but I think it might Very be affected by all the... And the arms were, if they're arms, whatever, going on. whatever of these... Uh -huh. So Josh, you're coming um, up with... We're kind of all tangled together. Correct. Yes, Yeah, it was not a regular chain of any sort. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah, it's not orderly. Like nothing with. here has yep. been orderly so far. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like the current's coming from my port. There is a current. So what is our depth on this one? Uh, mm -hmm. Three five zero. Three five zero. Just put it as a um it was mean opposite, so um it's much clearer now. The question is, are we still in the area we want to be in? Okay. So, um, it wasn't on a specific transect. So just, um, that one, we're fairly, comp we're fairly sure that the they're nice about but Top left to bottom right. We're still working on the actual identification, so. Um, so science, so just so you know, uh, if you see ROV view, it looks like we're, the water is getting less diffused, less backscatter. So less particulate matter in the water. All right, guys, we are approaching 350. Hey, which direction are we doing this move? Um, I believe we're going west to east. So you should be going 9-0, but um, I'm really not sure. I think he was on 100 uh, zero zero and 280 reciprocals. Go ahead, Bridge. But we were referring to those as west and east. Thanks, Jim. All right, so once the pilots are ready, we will be beginning our transect at 350 meters, and we'll be moving west to east. Tether's kind of blown in that direction. Yeah. It's going to port. Uh, yeah, I, I agree that that would probably be better. If, uh, if you prefer that heading, that's fine. You can do that anytime. And it looks like we have gone up a little bit out of the, uh, the plume that we were seeing before. It's a little bit clear, not perfectly clear, but uh, definitely clearer than we were just in. That sounds good. So you're, wait, you're bringing your header in? You. Okay, you're just, just pushing under. Centering up. Okay, got it. This ship is going to turn a little to port. Shouldn't really matter for us. So what they've been doing is just passing back and forth in front of Sirius, and Sirius just swinging left and right. Okay, Sirius lined up on 090. We're going 100. 100? Zero zero. Yep. Okay. Missed that. Looks 
What's our surface surface current look like right now? Um, I was just looking at that, and we seem to be getting like all bad returns from the ADCP. Uh, let me get the bridge plot up. Pilots, do they relate to you guys that okay, the uh, ship is not actually moving? Yeah, yeah we that, can, that agrees we with can what see that. Was saying. It's west okay. east, um, about a knot of the surface. Hey, right, we're lined up and ready. What are you going? You're going. You're going away from us, right? Don't you want to come towards Sirius? I think you're, I think this is the beginning of an east to west transit. That's what I'm trying to. Uh, we're not doing the typical transit like you guys are used to. Where <coughs> yeah, yeah. Sirius is. All right. If you want to turn around. Yeah. So, so the the idea is that Sirius Sirius stays where it is. You fly back and forth under under Sirius to the limit of the tether. So, uh, gotcha. I'm coming up. Yeah, and you just keep me in view. And yep. Right. Yep. All right. I'm going into at, the current. At a, and you're going to try to make about a tenth of a knot over the ground. Or sl or slower even. I can get this up on, uh, on one of your screens. Who is on the morning shift at launch? Carl and Sean. Hey Jim. I'd have to double check. Okay. I don't uh, remember I, for sure. It was definitely Carl. I seem to remember possibly a, an error in the reset of the turns. Just wanted to verify. Oh. Um, I, I wasn't aware of that as, you know, being on deck and asking for turns. They said they got dead turns, turns reset. Okay. I seem to remember something about, uh, maybe being a full turn off, but I want to check with them before we recover. Okay. <coughs> I'd be surprised if that was the case. I'm not sure how you would do that. I don't know. Come on in, Roland, this flipping thing. Uh, we haven't started the recordings. Oh, I Okay. Mean, we got to notify the clipper that we're ready for the transect. Okay, let's start the transect. So you're going to come around to 280, right? Yeah. All right, yeah. Shoreside, we are starting our 350 meter transect. We will be moving west to east. We're moving east to west. East to west. East right. to west now? Okay, never mind. Right. We are moving east to west. Yep. Center. Do you want to? Before you start pushing ahead, just saddle to the port. Yep. And I can keep my turns out. Yeah, no, first. I can't see it anymore. Yeah, he's gone. Right in the center of the screen, something just magically appeared. <laughs> I don't see anything. Was it was a siphonophore or a salp. Uh, I did not see a head on it. it. Yeah, it looked gelatinous, like a salp of some sort, I think. Scott says it was likely a salp, or potentially a salp. Here's the plume. We started out nice and clear, but we're looking like we're getting a little, little cloudy here. Agreed. It looks like we're coming we've into the screen and out of the screen. Is that anything running and rolling? Center. Yeah. Right on the edge of it. Yeah, Mucus yeah I agree. It's now diffused. It's actually where right where you want it to be. But there's some, um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's kind of amazing. Um, Jally coming by, went off to the right. This right thing upper left. Yeah, it's tough because I'm coming into the current. Yeah. Yeah. Come on in. Yeah. Pushing in. Yep, good. All right, that looks like another one of those uh, pelagic isopods. Mysterious. If we can get, if we can get a good zoom on that, that would be very helpful. It's going past me. Yep, I Come on in, Roland. Zoom is on hold, pushing. Do you have any more? Is that it? And I got a lot. It's Go just ahead. far away from you. Yep. I'm not going to get any closer to it. 
All right, guys, so this looks like what we were seeing before. Right. So Better Jerry says, I mean, opposite or not? It's a little wide. <laughs> I don't know. I don't have a good. I mean, it looks like what we what we've been seeing for sure. String coming to center. So Scott Body says up. it. Although it it doesn't quite look Ocean. like the meat opposites. Oh, here we go. That looks more familiar. <laughs> it's also a fish at the bottom. Oh. Two to four. There's Bowling a Keating nap in the background, and it lens. looks like we have a uh, salp. Oh. Minimal focus. That's salp. really small. Push and focus to give you scale. Wide. Yeah, I gotta turn around again. To see some of the more familiar animals. So every time I go to zoom in on something, I'm drifting back, so I'm not really making any ground under Sirius, just for the people on shore. Thank you, Violet. <coughs> I'm heading into the current. Circular object uh, coming just above center. Tina Ford possibly. Go ahead. Jelly. All right, we have another target here. It is ah. trying to slow down. Go mm -hmm. ahead in if you have it. My <laughs> guess would be a Tina four, but I will wait for folks on shore to confirm. Uh, he's coming over me. Oh boy! Trying to it's back beautiful. up. Beautiful. Back in focus a little bit. Zoom. Wow. All right, go ahead in. I don't know about Tina Four. I don't see. I don't see the team. I don't either. Now that we're closer, that's such a great image, though. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Could it be a larvation? It's relatively well, big. I, I, there's a lot of structure yeah. on the it, middle of it, isn't there? He's over me. Yeah. Pulling. yeah. Even that's a great job. <laughs> it looks like it could be. All right, got to let him go. I am not entirely sure what that was, but that was cool. Yeah, you can probably do no, uh, I think put your good, angle. Yeah, yeah you can probably come around. Yep, come in. Good idea. Yeah. All right. I don't think it was a Tina well, I think you... No, I don't think it was a Tina no, either. I just... Yeah, you got to come back to port. My midwater fauna back to port. knowledge is very limited. Where, which direction do you want to oh, move in? Yeah. You want to move Video west, right? Oh. Okay. Yeah, did you rotate? I did. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Okay, yeah. <laughs> sorry, you got to <laughs> yeah, tell was, me uh, you're doing that. I was uh, following you around. Very oh, okay. Small, uh, the little things that 90 degrees facing west. All right, I was... That... that. I was like, screwed me up. Yeah. Because I was like, why am I backing up? All right, come well. on in, Roland. The swimming, see if we can get the swimming guy. Uh, it was inside your lens on yeah. minimum zoom. Yeah. Minimum focus. Okay. I got to push ahead. So Scott says, if not a larvation, he would guess an echinoid um, larva, but they seem to be too big for that, so... Our our current How guess is still the larvae. How much time are we spending at each one of these steps now? Uh, let me check the watch sleeve. Uh, watch sleeve now. Watch sleeve now. Some silver things flashing. I think it's those little fish. All right. Um, watch White sleeve now. Is this better? Center. How long, how long do you want to spend at this step? Ready to zoom. Yeah, come on in, Rowan. Okay. I got to talk to the bridge. Minimum focus. Go ahead, bridge. Inside your lens. Yep. He's moving around. Um, okay, what would help? Um, it looks Straight like line coming left. Uh, the current is off. Off, off your the left, left port off bow, edge. right? Stand by shore side. We may have some adjustments that are needed uh, based on the positioning I'm of the I'm sorry, ship. yes, I'm looking at it backwards. And and would turning more to port help? 
Come on in, really? So we have another target that'll be coming into view shortly for Shoreside. Uh, yeah, if if you think that would help, go go See for it. Um, inside the lens. Otherwise, um, yeah, I don't know. Oh no, I think Focus that's a large. I, I didn't yeah. realize how much the wind had <laughs> picked up. That would be my guess. Is that your guess too? Yeah. But uh, yeah, but I wouldn't put much stock in my guess. <laughs> Well, you can see like a mucus net on the outside. So Scott says he thinks it's a empty larvation house. Okay. Yep. Let me know if uh, you need to do anything an else. Empty Thanks. larvation house. Yeah. There's um. <laughs> oh, what? What's that? Yeah. The the. They're having a problem with the combination of the wind and current. The stern thrusters are pretty much maxed out. And, gotcha. Uh, okay. He's going to try turning more to port. If that doesn't work, I'm not. I'm not really sure what else they can try, but uh, okay. we're good for now. If you didn't hear that Why conversation with watch lead, um, really when you get to the end of the tether, uh, we can probably it's pull confusing. off and do the next step. So keep a close eye on high pack, and if the ship starts drifting, okay, let us know. It really, sh it really shouldn't matter too much. If certainly turning the ship into the current, um, you know, so stern to the current ought to, ought to fix it. Okay. Ought to Looks like to we have another it. south coming up. Come on in. South chain? Yeah. I assume they're turning yeah. to port, Nav? Yes, they're yeah. turning to port. Yeah. Um, but really it's interesting. The so some of the salps that no, we've seen earlier not, on the, the um, that we saw a couple this days ago help. on our midwater work yeah. were much more defined than this one. And maybe it's just yeah, the, the particulate that, the that's that in the, the water. The vehicles but are moving a little bit when they turn. You could actually see the defined sort of barrels of the salp. Okay. This one, it didn't look as clear, but you could see sort of those Finally, interior parts about very just well. Putting the light bars outwards. Um, to what extend the light pool? Yeah. I and mean, we can try it. If you want to do that, go pilot. So, Casey, um, with. Go ahead, pilot. With the current, I mean, and us stopping to and drifting to take shots of stuff, we could be here for an hour and not get to the end of the tether. So that's why I asked about the time, because um, I'm maybe halfway through my full tether length so far. So I don't know how many depths you want to hit. Yeah, we're probably at like 15 right now. Can I come on in, Roland, real quick? Go ahead. So Amanda and Liz uh, and Scott, we, uh, looks like another larvation house that we have here again. But um, with the current way that the current is behaving with the ship and the vehicles, we will likely not be able to complete the full lateral move. So we're probably going to need to move up okay. and yeah. then basically limit the time that we're spending at any <coughs> one depth. Otherwise, we will be here for the duration of the dive and we're very quickly running out of time. Does that sound okay? Okay. So I'm going to have them go ahead and move up, and we'll start at the next depth. Um, we'll go to 325. Does that sound good? Yes. Okay. Now this is watch lead. Swingers out. Go ahead, watch lead. Okay, let's uh, come I up to 325. Watch, you got it. You? Coming up. Yep, I, I have you now. Go ahead. Amanda, were you trying to say something? How much time do we have left? So we have... 20 let me minutes. Check. We have about 20 minutes left. Video is going to swap out. So yeah, we're we'll going to come up to 325, and we'll probably be able to do about, I'd say, two to three more. So if you want to move up more on the next one, we absolutely can. Let's see, the last time we did a decent jump, so this is a 25-meter jump. This is 